Folks, many of you have been asking me, who is Kalki? Is he on the earth already? If not, when he will be born? Same way, who is Jesus? Has he come already? Or is he going to come soon? Already as said in the Bible that many will come and claim that they are the Christ. They are the Jesus, Christ reborn, coming second time. I have given <clears throat> enough clue in my channel, in my videos, to tell you who I am and who is Kalki. But still, there are many who claim to be Kalki throughout the world who claim to be Jesus coming second time everywhere. <clears throat> This is the last time that I'm going to give you more clues for you to find out who is Kalki and who am I. If you do not get from my videos, from these clues, who is Kalki and who is Jesus coming second time, <clears throat> You will miss him till the end of his <coughs> mission. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'm going to give you some more clues, some more experiences. I might have talked about this earlier, explicitly as Kalki's teaching. Definitely I talked about this in my earlier video, videos that I published last year. You probably do not have time to go and watch them. One day, when I was in my friend's house in New Jersey, suddenly, I lifted my head up because at that time I was looking down when I lifted my head up, suddenly everything vanished. There is this famous Rishi Agastya in front of me, but at that time I didn't know who he was. When he looked at me, behind me, there, is, there was this famous Indian guru. He is no more. His name is Satya Sai Baba. He placed this three in one crown on my head while Agastya in front of me watching. Agastya didn't tell me anything at that time. He smiled lovingly. And showed me the sign that he enjoy, have fun. I told my friends after this experience about this. I didn't know anything about the three head and so on. At that time, I used to go to Satya Sai Baba's <clears throat> bhajans <coughs> to find out what he was talking about God. I was interested to know what God is.
<clears throat> even at that time, I didn't go there to worship him. Even at that time, I took talked to some of my friends going to that bhajan meetings. The same way that I'm talking to you now. <clears throat> and they didn't listen. I didn't use the word Satya Sai Baba here to attract the Satya Sai Baba crowd to me. I don't need their favor to spread my news. I don't need anybody's favor to spread what I have come here to teach. I will not use any political power or any religious scriptures to promote me. But I said this in order to give you a clue who I am. The three in one is same as Shiva, Brahma and Vishnu, that Hindus worship. The three in one is same as the one God that Christians worship, which <clears throat> presents as the three lights, the Holy Spirit, Father and Son of God. That is the three in one crown put on my head. I said in my earlier videos very clearly, it is that one, the three in one, what Hindus call Maheshwara is manifesting as Kalki. Let me give you one more experience to give you some more clues. There is a temple in New Jersey. At that time, I was living in New Jersey. And my wife used to take me there. And on one such day, right at the entrance on the left side, there is a statue of Vinayaka. When I try to worship that statue, the blue color totally engulfed me all around me, just like the golden color light engulfed me in my first experience. That blue color is same as the blue color that people use to portray or depict Vishnu and Krishna. What Vishnu is in Vaishnava culture is same as the Vinayaka in Shaiva culture. Vishnu has the five snakes, the five energies behind him. Vinayaka has the five ganas or bhutas are the five arms, the four arms plus the trunk, five. It's called the Vinayaka, Ganpati, the power to control the five bhutas, which I said, is appearing in the human being as five senses. Behind Vinayaka statue was this Devi's statue, Parvati statue, a concept of Shiva. When I tried to worship, immediately again, everything vanished. That statue, the same statue that I tried to worship, 
disappeared and then appeared in that darkness alive and worshipped me. That was a big shock to me. <clears throat> and I went to the statue of Kartikeya, Subramanya, Muruga, as it is called in South India and Tamil Nadu. And I tried to worship him. There was this white light behind me. I was able to see that even though I was worshipping or tried to worship Muruga's temple, <clears throat> Muruga's statue. That white light is same as the Holy Spirit. That white light is same as Brahma's concept, Saraswati's light. It is the same white light that Catholics <clears throat> say that appeared before Mary. Jesus' mother, and she was about to conceive Jesus. Let me tell you this very, very clearly. Muruga is considered or worshipped as son of God, son of Shiva <clears throat> in Shaiva culture. He is same as Jesus, the Son of God, the Christians worship. Let me say this very, very clearly. Or rather, I will use another experience to tell more about this. I will just wait for a few more minutes. <clears throat> as anyone told you that Vinayaka is same as Vishnu? Has anyone told you that Kartikeya, Subramanya is same as Jesus? Nobody has the power to say this. Nobody has the knowledge to say this. There are so many claiming to be Kalki, claiming to be Jesus. None of them will have the knowledge, experience to say this. From that day onwards, I stopped worshipping. Even before, I used to worship only the golden light that engulfed me in my first experience. From that day onwards, I stopped worship at all, totally. Is there anyone claiming to be Kalki? Can say that they don't worship anybody? I have been saying that there is a lot of dust a lot of ignorance on Hindu scriptures, on the Bible, because <clears throat> over the time people have preached about them with their own mental inclinations and spread the wrong information. <clears throat> As anyone says boldly that the script, there, are, there are mistakes in the scriptures, most of the people claiming to be Kalki and Jesus <clears throat> will quote from their textbooks, religious textbooks. I don't need to. 
I'll talk everything from my own experience. I want to talk about another spiritual experience. None of my spiritual experiences I sought. It came to me automatically. It was shown to me after totally arresting my mind. Making totally functionless by an extraordinary divine energy beyond human being. I didn't do it. One such experience is there is this huge statue of Hindu goddess. <clears throat> which Hindus call as Parvati. And there is small, there is a human form, not small, human form, small compared to that statue. He was looking like a prince. He was drinking white milk from Parvati's breast. He looked at me, smiled at me very shyly, with a lot of shyness, but with a lot of love. His look appeared as if he knows who I am. like a son, loving son, looking at his father. That's none, none other than Kartiyaya, Muruga, Subramanya. He is my son. Jesus is my son. Let anybody say this. Anybody who claims to be Kalki or Jesus, say this boldly. They will all be afraid to say this. They will have no power to say this. Yet, I am saying this. Let me tell you one more experience. There was this white cow again, after arresting of my mind, a white cow appeared in front of me. A lot of white rays used to emanate, come out from its stomach to me. As you all know, the white cow is representation of white light, the sea of white light, the Holy Spirit. Not all of you will know that. But Hindus worship the white cow for this reason. The white rays coming out of the cow each one of them is an eye consciousness, is a human being. And they are born, as I said in an earlier video, that a white ray comes from the sea of white light and occupies that body. And that gives the feeling of I, the pure I principle inside each one of you. I said this before.
those white rays come from the white cow. Stays with me and then goes back directly. Does not stay anywhere else. It originates, comes to my body. Body in the sense, I didn't have the feeling of body at that time. I'm saying it comes to me, the feeling of me, the inner. Stays there and goes back. That's why I'm saying that. There is only one birth for everybody. Hindus believe that there are many births and the past birth, if you have done anything wrong, will give you trouble in the current birth. They devised this idea in order to make sure that people don't hurt other people. It is conceived by the human beings. That's why the Hindus say that there is a, there are multiple births, there is karma, reincarnation, etc, etc. They are false teachings. The divine energy creates <clears throat> every human being fresh using some using the experience of previous creation in order to modify that. Remove ignorance about the previous birth. But the new birth is not getting a life experience of its own birth. What it is, every birth is new, fresh from the viewpoint of divinity. Also, so there is. Before I do that, before I say the other thing. So there is no reincarnation. But it is true that everybody inherits life experience of the other creations and modify it. So there is This last year, last births, experience is taken when a new human being is formed, but it is not this child's, newborn child's own previous birth. Also, it is believed in Christianity that after death, they'll all be hanging, people will be hanging somewhere till Jesus comes, wakes them up, judges them. And they say incorrectly that those who believe in him will be taken along with him and others will go to hell. That's not true. I'll talk about this. I already talked about this, but I'll talk about it more clearly in another video. There is not much time now. So folks, that's why I'm saying 
every human being is in, in me because every white rib emanates from that white cow and comes to me. I am everybody. So, I have given enough clue in this video to tell you who I am and who Halki is and who Jesus is. If you still do not understand who I am, who is Kalki, and who is Jesus, you have to wait for some more time. <clears throat> Till my mission is over, complete. At that time, Many will turn to me, but they will not have much time to listen to me directly. So folks, listen to my video. Listen to the ignorances that I'm pointing out in human beings. Change. and see for yourself in the glory of Kalki, glory of Jesus, the glory of the one who sent Jesus earlier, 2000 years back. That's what I want to talk to you folks. I'll continue to talk about other aspects of human life in the future video. Talk to you soon.